Slow Key. I'm back with another one. Welcome to tonight's trending news with Low Key T. We're going to talk about Amber Rose, funky ass. We're going to uh, take a look inside Bill Cosby's uh, new home. Um, what else we're going to talk about? We're going to, we're going to cover a lot of fuck, uh, a lot of fuck shit stories. So first things first, family, I need y'all to hit that like button. Thank you kindly. Also, I want to welcome you to the low key T family. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and make sure you, you know, when, um, when you see me go live, you hop in on the live stream shows and you hop up in the chat and you say, what's up? Talk your shit. So with that, um, let's get into tonight's trending news. After Amber Rose's death wish on Bill Cosby, Jess Hilarious claps back to defend him. Now, I I heard about Amber Rose saying some bullshit about Bill Cosby saying, um, you know, I hope he I hope he dies or some shit. Like, I don't know. I I, I could care less what a Amber Rose got to say about anything. Like, <laughs> for real. Let's keep it in context, family. Amber Rose got hot. Here come the air quotes. Hot off of people finding out simply. That Kanye was smacking his balls up against her jawline and busting her guts on the regular. That's it. She was out here stripping, most likely selling her ass, allegedly. But until she started fucking around with a public figure, no one knew who you were. No one cared who you were. And honestly, I still feel the same way. (laughs) <laughs> Triple salute to Bad and Boozy on the check-in. Let's let's just go into this. Um, and Bucktooth over here, just hilarious. They, it's just a lot of fuck shit going on tonight, family. <laughs> now let's see. Uh, for comedian, just hilarious. It's usually all funny games, lots of harmless jokes and laughter. But when Amber Rose decided to mock Bill Cosby after his sentencing, it was anything but a laughing matter um, to Jess. In fact, Amber Rose's comments were so infuriating for Jess, she hopped on the gram to sound off. Um, Now it says the footage of a rant is going viral. Oh, shit. It's on YouTube. Um, let me see if I'm gonna get in trouble if I play this. Oh, one thing. Her weave is on is on point. Whoever hair that was before she bought it, that shit look. It, it, that shit is beautiful. I'm gonna just keep it a buck. That shit is luxurious. It's straight. It got some uh, shimmer to it. She came up. Tell. I, she, I guess she get in the bag. She didn't came up. Whoever hair that was before it touched her scalp, salute to them. Triple salute. Let's see. Um, so it goes on to say. Let's see. Just gave her opinion of Amber's scathing comments, but she also offered a very colorful opinion of the mod, I guess they meant models, of the model's character. With all of the F-bombs she dropped, 
uh, it's obvious Amber Rose isn't one of her favorite people. Amber Rose, itch. What type of effing up, up individual are you? You wish death on it, nickel. <laughs> but like the radio right now. Like, all right, that's why he get in jail time, you know, so he can pay for the F he did. She says in the video below, you're a fucking idiot for that. I understand you standing up for women like you always want to want to do. But this so-called comment, I'm sorry, the so-called moment that you trying to have be you effed up. Um, you effed it all up when you wish death on that man after he do after after 10 years. You sound stupid. Wow. Now it says, as expected, comments have turned heads everywhere, and people have wondered how Amber would react. According to Black, I'm sorry, Atlanta Black Star, the model slash feminist has responded in a way not many social media users may have expected. Oh shit. Backpedaling much since just a video began circulating is going viral. Um, there's a very good chance Amber may have seen the video. Amber's post has mysteriously disappeared. They always do that shit. All of these celebrities, celebrities, they say whatever they say, and then they delete the shit. What's the point of that? If you're gonna make a video, say keep it up. You took the time to make the video. Take the time to leave it there. I don't understand. Maybe Amber realized she gone a bit on um, far, wishing death on Cosby. However, that uh, this is a completely different stance compared to her initial comments after Cosby was sentenced. This bitch is. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't get jiggy with Amber Rose, man. She like a she like a kid with titties, man. And her ass. Like, I just, she's so fucking immature, man. She's just a goofy-ass little kid. In my opinion, this is my opinion. She's just like a goofy-ass little kid, man. We were talking about um spanking your kids earlier today. This bitch, need, I don't know if she ever got... I, I feel like Amber Rose is the type of human being that never got a proper ass whooping. But keep it a buck with y'all. A, 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 a thorough ass whooping could have been a difference between Amber Rose stripping and her, you know, I don't fucking know, going to, going to college or doing some shit. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Getting a real job. Getting a, getting a real job. I don't fuck it. What do I know? What the fuck is a real job? Let's see. Let's see. She says, we should be praising these women for showing us exactly who he is. Added Rose. I hope he doesn't die in jail. Okay, so now you're taking back what you said. See what I'm saying? I hope he does the full 10 years <laughs> and then dies the day he gets out. God damn. Justice is finally served. Shame the rapists, not the survivors. Wow. <laughs> she said. <laughs> Yo, she, her and Kanye might have been meant for each other, for real. They both some trolls. I hope he doesn't die in jail. I hope he does the full 10 years and then dies the day he gets out. Wow. Goes on to say, um, oh, yeah, it just it talks about how Bill Cosby got up in that situation, man. So let's see what Bill's new home looks like. Inside the Pennsylvania prison, where Bill Cosby will spend three to ten years. Damn. I 
I know one thing, man. <laughs> oh shit, Virgo, the Carter Five is out, man. He finally dropped that shit. I'm about to listen to that after this video. He finally came out and dropped that shit. Damn. How do you go from Mr. Huxtable to sell block eight? They gonna walk on, they gonna say, What's your name, homie? Put in pop what they call me. <laughs> Man, that's sad. That's some sad shit. That's some sad shit, yo. Damn, this nigga was born in 1937. Holy fuck. Damn. And you know the fucked up thing is Bill don't even say nothing, yo. We haven't heard Bill say a word. That's the crazy part, in my opinion. We haven't heard Bill say a word. Who is this? All right, let me get, let me get back. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all over the place. Let's see. It says TV legend Bill Cosby is expected to spend the next three to ten years of his life in prison. Um, the Cosby Show star will now be an inmate at the new four hundred million dollar Pennsylvania State facility. The eighty-one year old was convicted of drugging and molesting Andrea Constan, a former Temple University women's administrator. In 2004, it will be a different change of pace for a man who was once dubbed America's number one dad. Cosby will spend the first few days of his prison sentence, um, prison sentence at the county jail outside Philadelphia. He will then be transferred to SCI Phoenix. Inmates have informed the inquirer that the prison, which opened on July 9th, has limited access to water. Many also um, complain that their personal belongings have been defaced and even stolen. One man even told that someone drew a swastika the brother's forehead via a personal photograph. What in the world? So apparently this jail just opened up two months ago. Wow. You imagine that? Triple salute to Mama Candy on the check-in. Triple salute to Reginald Williams on the check-in. Welcome, y'all. What's, what's, what's really good? What's really? Really? Really, 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 really good. Now it says prison officials tell us he got a jumpsuit, blanket, sheets, and a hygiene kit, just like every other inmate. And once again, this is this is the jail. A look inside of the jail. That Cosby, aka Pudding Pop, is gonna be calling his home. Very spooky. Spooky shit, yo. Now it says when he begins his sentence there, Cosby will only be allowed to leave his cell to eat meals, exercise, and have extensive counseling. The prison program offers sex offender treatment, victim awareness, and impact of crime classes. Let's see. Mama can't.
and he says, I do for him. Why don't you feel sorry for him? So yeah, I just wanted to show y'all what what the inside of this place look like. It's like a whole man, like the whole his whole lifestyle, <laughs> his whole lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's see. Mama Candy says, "Do the crime, do the time." So, Mama Candy, you feel like he's, you feel like Cosby is guilty. You feel like Bill Cosby of sexually assaulting these women. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much that, family. I just want to show y'all what the inside of the jail looks like. I mean, I, you know, I'm not, I, <laughs> they just opened the shit. <laughs> they said, Cosby, pull up. So, there's that. I want to get into this story. This is, this is just, it seemed like every day I'm making a video on one, on a story like this. Where it's just like, what? Huh? Huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, let's see. Mama Candy says, I don't know if he is. But if he is, then too bad for him. Reggie says, did you get the link about the young buck? Um, I'm going to check it out. But what happened with young buck? It was something about the tranny. Now, check this story out, family. It says, dad runs bath for five-month-old son, then forgets he's there while playing video game. We just did a video. I told you, niggas, should niggas go to Mars? And I said it in the video. I said, niggas going to be playing 2K on Mars. And what do we have here? This nigga left his son in the tub while he was probably playing 2K. It was either that or Grand Theft Auto. Let's keep it a buck. Wow. Wow. Hold on, y'all. Let, let me see. Oh, this is crazy. He was an innocent baby who needed his father to protect him. But instead, an Alabama man was reportedly um, too invested in his video game. Oh shit! He said the tranny recorded their phone conversation. Oh shit! I mean, me personally, young book. I don't. He looked, you know. He he. I don't know. Me per like nothing against young book, but it's certain character types. I peep people. Young book. It seems like a real emotional type of guy. You know what I'm saying? A real like just all over the place type of guy like so if you compare a young buck to a lloyd banks right the people that i i friend i'm friends with in real life i'm more friends with people like a lloyd banks quiet calm relax i don't really politic and hang out with people like a a young buck that's emotional all over the place you don't know you know what's going on in their head so I don't put it past him that he was out here doing some fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, but let's see. It says, but instead, an Alabama man was reportedly too invested in his video game. 23-year-old Cordarius. Oh, shit. Cordarius Cotton. Oh, man, I got like three, three fucking names going on at once. Um, has been arrested in the suspected drowning death of his infant son. 
the baby fucking died. I was hoping the baby didn't die because they didn't say if the baby died in the title. I was trying to save a little bit of hope, man. Damn it. Uh, my man said, can't take niggas nowhere. <laughs> God damn, Virgo. He allegedly confessed to cops that he placed his five-month-old Desmond Cotton in a tub of running water, but instead of tending to his child, he left the helpless infant to care um, for himself. Cordarius says he forgot about Desmond for more than an hour while he was playing a video game. Tragically, it was only after the time he remembered his son, but by that time it was too late. Cordarius called 911 and Desmond was rushed to the hospital. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. I'm telling y'all, man. It's like a billion and three ways to die around fuck people. <laughs> There's so many ways to fucking die out here, man. Jesus Christ. Now, let me just let me go back up here and make sure I'm reading this right way. It says he turned the water on in the tub and put the child in there. Then went to play a video game and forgot the little boy was in the tub. So from what I'm reading, this sounds fucking retarded as hell. So are you telling? So he put the baby, he, he turned the water on in the tub. He put the baby in the tub. He never went and then he went to go play the video game. He never went back in the bathroom to turn the water off. For a whole hour? Or did he turn it off and then did he turn it off and then just leave his kid in the bathroom? Because I feel like a lot, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna front. I feel like a lot of people do leave their kids in the bathroom. They leave their kids in, you know. I'm not gonna say like everyone, but I feel like a lot of people that have children, they put their kids in the bathtub, you know, they fill it up like halfway. And they say, if you need me, you know, you know, yell out, whatever. But the way they the way they wrote this make it seem like the nigga never even went back to the bathroom to cut the water off. <laughs> you said this sound like fake news. It's sad, though. That's some sad shit. That's some sad shit, man. The kid was five months old. The kid was five months old, man. Now, let's see. It says, a police statement reads that on Sunday night, the first responders arrived at a home to find a child who was not breathing. Cotton reportedly told investigators he placed his son in a bathtub and left the water running. He then went to play the video game. So, they're saying, from what they're saying, the nigga flooded his whole bathroom, too. Not only did he kill his child you know what i'm saying he had apparently he flooded his whole damn bathroom too <laughs> what the fuck i just want to know what video game was he playing in was he at the strip club in gta 5 was he making it rain come on man he said fake news Five months old, really don't go in the tub. Let's see. Uh, a 911 call was placed, and someone started following instructions for CPR, but sadly their attempts were in vain. Authorities say that two other children also lived with Cotton in the home. They have been placed in the care of their grandmother pending an investigation. Desmond's mother was not home at the time of death. That's another thing, too. That's another thing. Can you imagine? You know, if you say, yo, I'm going to the store real quick. I'll be right back. And you come back and your kid is dead. It's significant other than let the kid die. That's crazy. Fucking around with Cord Cordarius Cotton. Jesus. <laughs> I want to know what fucking game he was playing, man. 
That nigga was at this. I already know. He was at the strip club in GTA 5, and he was getting a lap dance. I already know. This person says he should get a murder charge, not manslaughter. He knew he left the baby in the tub with running water, and the bond is only $15,000. Wow. see i don't i don't know what state it was in bro it says jefferson county uh, alabama this shit was in alabama i want to say that's crazy oh let's see Mama Candy says they had a case here where a young girl was put in a toy box and the young child died. Wow. Uh, let's see what let's see what else is going on out right here. See what uh what DL Hughley talking about. He DL Hughley literally went from a stand-up comedian to like a social <laughs> justice warrior. I don't know what's going on with DL Hughley, man. I don't know what's going on with DL, man. Let's see. DL Hughley talks blacks. In fear of police recalls his first time disheartening experience with cops at eight. God damn. It said Hughley appeared on the Daily Show with Trevor Noah, where he discussed his new book, How Not to Get Shot. And other advice from white people. God shit. During the discussion, he uh, he offered a detailed depiction of how African Americans view the police, and how he ended up sharing a personal story about his first disheartening experience with the police. For DL, that experience took place when he was just eight years old. Let's see. All right, so he goes on to say. Uh, he recalled a time where an officer accused him of being responsible for a missing cat. However, the cop didn't stop there. He also called him the N-word and handcuffed him. I'm coming from school, getting a free lunch in the summer, and the police pull up, and they pull me, or uh, they pull me, and my friend, and they're asking us questions about a cat that lived in my neighborhood. And they're like, where is he? And we're like, we don't know. <laughs> and they're like, put your hands on the car. And I'm like, sir, the car is hot. And he said the N word. If you take your hands off this car, I'm going to blow your head off. Now, eight years old, flash to a couple weeks ago, when a young kid in Chicago is handcuffed and peeing on himself. What? That was my first experience, and I'll never forget it. And I doubt he will either. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. 
It was a kid peeing on himself in Chicago. This is a real story. Wow. It says cell phone video shows police question a 10 year old boy after him. Good Lord. 10 year old boy fit the description, Chicago police say. So they cuffed him. Police were looking for a 10 to 12 year old boy with a gun. And Michael Thomas Jr. fit the description, authority said. That's why officers stopped the boy on Friday evening and handcuffed Michael for safety reasons. Um, poli police Superintendent Eddie Johnson said Wednesday, the Chicago Sun Times reporter, authorities said he was cuffed after briefly running away. Cell phone video of the incident obtained by NBC. Uh, it shows Michael looking sullen and scared as he stands against a car with handcuffs on while police question him. That's our kid, a woman says. Unbelievable, he's a kid. The news station reports the woman is Thomas's grandmother. Jesus. Triple salute to sexy as fuck on the check-in. They're making him pee on himself, she says on the video. He's scared. Um, the officers then explain that they got a call about a juvenile and that Michael started running when they got out of the car because he's scared, Michael, uh, Michael's grandmother said. Witnesses say the handcuffs were removed about 15 minutes after Michael was stopped. The video shows Michael burst into tears when police removed the handcuffs and a man pulls the child towards him. Now, Michael's family says they want answers. You can look at him and tell he's no teenager. Um, ten year old ten year olds you get handcuffed, you scarred him for life. He said the officers followed the rules and protocols, the radio station reported, but he added that anytime you have to interact from a law enforcement standpoint with a child, uh it's difficult. So I can only imagine the mother's and grandmother's anguish that their child had to go through that situation. That's crazy. I mean, damn. So let's get back to DL. But you know, people going to say, he shouldn't have ran. <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> somebody going to say it. He shouldn't have ran. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, it goes on to say, DL went on to explain how these types of occurrences ultimately led people to form unfavorable opinions of police officers. Like most black people, DL Hughley has serious concerns about his son. Due to the ongoing police brutality and all of the officer-involved shootings that have led to the deaths of unarmed black men, D.L. admitted he's taught his son to avoid the police at all costs. But D.L. didn't stop there. He admitted he's even taught his son to avoid making eye contact with officers to avoid sending the wrong message. Now, me and my personal opinion... That's no, no. If, if a cop is talking to you, it don't matter what race you are. If a cop is talking to you and you don't look him in the eye, you look away. It, I think in my opinion, I feel like it's natural. It's human nature for a person to think that something's up. I think it's uh, natural for... I think it I think it's natural for 
you know, just human nature. Be like, okay, why ain't you looking at me? What's going on? What's the problem? So I would tell my son, I would tell my son, if I had a child, I would, I would make sure my child focuses on, you know, having your hands shown at all times. Don't make any sudden movements. And when he's speaking to you, look him directly in his eyes. Because when you look at, when you're having a conversation with somebody and it's a, and it's a serious conversation or it's a moment of, how do I say this? It, 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 can be, it can be a situation where shit could go left real quick. You have to do everything possible to de-escalate the situation from body language to, you know, verbal language. So I would tell my son, look him dead in his eye and be calm and and keep your hands shown and follow the follow the orders but i definitely wouldn't recommend i wouldn't recommend that to anybody if a cop pulls you over and you and you looking down and you got your head down they, they you literally look like you did something wrong that's my opinion that's my opinion um let's see now, Reggie says, not looking at them gives them to right to put you in handcuffs, not talking about running, only not looking. I never said not looking at them gives gives them the right to put you in handcuffs. And also, I mean, as far as the little kid, no, he shouldn't have ran. <laughs> your grandma would your grandma would say to would, would say to you, if you ain't do nothing, why you ran? Your grand, grand, grandma would say that. And then also, like they said, if somebody, it is what it is. If somebody say low key fit a description and they pull up on me, balls in my court. I could either, you know, I, I, I got to make that decision. We're going to do this the easy way. We're going to do this the hard way. It is what it is. But the ball is in my court. I can risk the eyes of running and them chasing me and them being scary and killing me or i could take you know I, I could say you know what let me just let them pull up on me and have a conversation see what's going on regardless if they put me in cuffs or not but i'm a man first and i'm not about to be you know on some emotional shit. that's what it is i can either run and then get and pretty much put the ball in their court. I'm forcing a reaction out of them if, if I run. That's what a lot of people don't understand. If if a lot of people feel cops are already scary as hell, then why are you forcing their hand? If you're dealing with a scary ass person, the only hand you can really play is be calm. Until you feel like you in a life or death situation, then then go ahead, do what you got to do. But I'm just not the type of person to escalate anything. Me personally. But it is what it is. They rolled up on them. They said the kid, you know, like I said, whether they're scary or whether they're being cautious. They got a, a description saying this kid has a gun. Uh, th this uh, 10 to 12 year old had a gun. They pull up on this kid that fit the description. Instead of him saying, what's up? What's going on? He runs away. So the first thing they're thinking about, like I said, whether they're scary or just precautious, is why the fuck is this kid running? This is human nature. <clears throat> Now, let's see. Reginald Williams says, isn't it normal for black men to be nervous around cops? Let's see. I was only asking about not looking. If you're nervous, of course, you might not look in. A, you might not look in a cop. So let me I, I don't know what question you asking, Reggie. But let me ask you a question. Do you look in cops' eyes when you get pulled over? And to answer your question, I'll be honest with you. I've always been 
I'm not gonna say scared. I'm not. I'm not scared of police. I'm not. I'm me personally. I've never been scared of police, but I will say, I've, I've been driving since I was 17, so that's 10 years now. I will say, I've, I'm not personally afraid of police because I'm not because police fall into men, women, human beings, and I'm not afraid of of any human being on the on, that works that walks this earth. So that's why I'm not afraid of them. But I will say, and I will be honest, that every time I do get pulled over or a cop is around me when I'm driving, I do get a little bit of anxiety. Now, I don't know if if that if if that's really like a, if I was kind of like if if I was kind of like born that way, if that's in my blood, I don't know if that's in black people's blood. But I can be honest and say I'm not scared of cops, but I do have a little bit of anxiety because I'm like, are these motherfuckers going to try to pull something? But I wouldn't say I'm scared. Let's see. You made a statement about if you don't look in a cop's eyes, you automatically look suspect. Right. Right. But I want to know, do do you, Reggie, do you look in cops' eyes when you get pulled over or do you um look away? Let's see. Now, D.L. Hughley goes on to say, although children shouldn't be taught to fear law enforcement, D.L. believes black people instill a, a level of fear in their children, namely boys. Um. Let's see. When it comes to police, why? Sadly, um, because they don't want them to be added to the list of disheartening statistics. Unarmed blacks murdered by police without probable cause. We st uh, we instill a sense of fear in them because we don't want them to be killed. See, I, I got to disagree with. He says we instill a sense of fear in them because we don't want them to be killed. I'd rather take the approach of instilling knowledge into them, instilling awareness into them. If you instill fear into a child, he's going to em emit fear during that in um, interactment. But if I feel like if you if you instill self awareness and knowledge into the child when they are in that interaction when they're in that moment they'll know very well what's going on they won't be ignorant to the you know the situ the possibilities or the potential situ you know of this the potential of the situation that they're in. Mama Candy says Mexicans are scared and so are white people. It's not a color issue. Reginald Williams says if you don't think blacks being nervous around cops isn't normal, then I don't know. Um, I'm talking black men. If you don't think I hate the way you ask questions, Reggie. If you don't think blacks being nervous around cops isn't normal, then I don't know. So are you saying and I asked you a question. Do you look in a cop's eye? You still didn't answer it. But are you saying black people should be nervous around cops? Are you saying that black people should be nervous around cops? Because going back to what I, the point that I was trying to make is, Through maturity, through finding myself, through becoming self-aware, I've come to the understanding that I'm a man first. I'm a man first. Right? I don't treat... I don't treat... I don't treat men like they're black. I treat men like they're men. I don't treat 
you know what I mean? Women like they're black. I treat women like they're women. So it's like knowing that I'm a man first, I can't. I, I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't do all that. Uh, let's see. Sexy as fuck says, I'm always nervous when the cops come. Reginald Williams says, should be nervous, really? I don't, the way, I don't know. Does anybody understand what Reggie is saying? Because I don't understand what Reginald is saying. I asked Reggie like 15 minutes ago, do you look in the eye of a cop when you get pulled over? I, I don't think he answered the question. And also, I'm asking you, it's a yes or no question. Do you feel all black people should be afraid of police officers? And like I said, I'm a man first and, I, and I'm not, I'm personally, this is just me though. I'm personally not afraid of any human being that walks this earth. And police officers fall under that category. So it doesn't have to do with race with me. It has to do with species to me. And no, I'm personally not afraid. Do I get anxious? Yes. Do I feel like, oh, what is this nigga going to try to pull? This nigga going to try to, you know, give me a fuck ass ticket? Da, da, da. Yeah. But I'm not scared. Anybody could, you know, we could look any we could go any day. So I'm definitely not. I'm not definitely not scared. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna let you do your thing, Reggie. Because since you're not answering my question, I asked you, do you look a cop in the eye when he pull you over? And then I also asked you, do you feel like cops? Um, do you feel like black people should be afraid of police? So until you answer that question, I ain't, I'm not paying attention to you respectfully. Let's see. Let's hop into this new story. Strip club accepts food stamps. And I heard about this shit a couple days ago, but I didn't know if it was if it was a, if it, if this was real or not. But it goes on to say, strip club accepts food stamps EBT for various services and loses its liquor license. This is in Dayton, Ohio. <laughs> Doing something strange for a piece of change also includes food stamp benefits sometimes you just don't have particular funds for a part for for a particular kind of fun wow <laughs> god damn god, shit what the fuck? Well, where do you put the stamp in between the ass Good Lord. Um, let's see. It says, during this time span, undercover agents purchased a number of products and services with food stamp benefits, including heroin. What? Yo. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Apparently, according to WBAL 11, Sharky's Bar is trying to see profits however possible. Uh, the source says this adult entertainment club has been under investigation for the last five months or so. During the time span, undercover agents purchased a number of products and services with food stamp benefits, including heroin, uh, fent fentanyl, Oh my God! Carfentanil, cocaine, methamphetamines, phenamines, and lap dances. Niggas is fucking yo. A lap dance go for twenty. I don't know how much a lap dance go for where y'all at, but over here for three damn minutes, 
for a lap dance, it costs twenty dollars. So I don't know, I don't know how it is with y'all at. Um, but, yo, yo, hold on, man. What is going? Is my screen not showing, man? What is, what is going on? Hold on, I'm I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm trying to put the um. There we go. Damn, YouTube don't fuck with me at all. You imagine if Low Key actually had like a thousand subs? Shit. All right, let's see. God damn, and lap dancers. So like I was saying, it costs twenty dollars over here to have a bitch. Uh, do all types of tricks on it. <laughs> you know what I mean, to swap for three minutes, and it's a short ass three minutes too. So I don't, I can't imagine giving a chick some food stamps over here, man. They would fuck my ass up if I pulled out some food stamps. Now it says the amount of purchases approximated to two thousand four hundred dollars. And food stamp benefits exchanged. Now let's see. WBAL 11 reports various and patrons were charged with drug trafficking, food stamp trafficking, aggravated shipment and distribution of heroin, engaging in a pattern of corrupt activity and illegal sexual activity. God, uh, it says, is the illegal sexual activity, the food stamp paid lap dances, <laughs> or did they also have sex with these EBT benefits? The source doesn't clarify. Nevertheless, the source states the business 2250 uh, Inc. Sharkies lost its liquor license Effective at closing on September 20th, the business was investigated by the Ohio Liquor Control Commission. Wow. Oh, shit. Let me see what y'all are talking about. I'm sorry. I had to fix this shit. Let's see. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh shit, Mama Candy says, don't get upset. We just talking. What happened? President Williams says, I'm doing the same thing Jews, Asian, whites, and Latinos do. So what's the problem? What you Reggie, did you answer my question yet, Reggie? Y'all going in. But, but like I said, Reggie, I do. Before I hop back into this article, I want to know, Reg, Reginald Williams, please come to the front of the, uh, front of the line respectfully. When you get pulled over, Do you make eye contact with the police officer? White, black, it don't matter. And also, I just want to know briefly, do you feel like all black people or black people, whatever, should be afraid of police officers? Because you got to understand police officers too. So you said it, it depends... It said, depends on how they address me. Let's see. <laughs> hey, 
Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking funny, man. <laughs> Can right, Mama Candy, you hold it in there? Reggie, why are you always why are you always getting at somebody neck, man? Reggie, why are you always you know I fuck with you, Reggie, man. You know I appreciate your mind, man. Pause. But why are you always getting at somebody, man? You always up in the chat. It's starting a debate, man. We up in here, and you always trying to debate with somebody, Reggie. What's going on, bro? I, we need to get to the source of this, Reggie. Does Reginald Williams hate white people? If you do, keep it a buck. It's America. <laughs> My man said it's a crime for black folks to love being black. Who said that? Who said that though? Who said that? Nobody on low key T said that. <laughs> black love what what uh what Beyonce and them say love is love. <laughs> Love is love. Y'all need y'all need to uh hug it out or something, man. Let's get back into this article. Let's see. Now it says this is the second adult entertainment establishment liquor permit that has been revoked by the Liquor Control Commission as a result of an Ohio investigative unit investigation into food stamp and drug ca uh, drug trafficking this year in the Dayton area. The other location um, lost its liquor license in May. So this is crazy. This is, and, and you know what's so crazy? Can you imagine? It was undercover police officers. These undercover agents we're, pay, we're being paid by the taxpayers to have a bitch swerve on them. God damn. Can you imagine being paid being paid to get lap dances? Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, let's go see what's going on on this fuck ass website. Let's see. What is going on here? Wow. I don't know if y'all watch Atlanta Housewives, but it says Kim from Atlanta Housewives accused of sexualizing her daughter. Disturbing pictures. What? They say K. Michelle bleached her skin. She's now Caucasian. What? What? Wow. She look like Sammy Sosa in this motherfucker. Damn. Did y'all hear about this? K. Michelle bleeds her skin. Hold on, let me see. It says he's being accused of bleaching her skin. Some are even calling her Caucasian K because of her new look. Uh, K Michelle has spoken openly about undergoing plastic surgery options 
to reconstruct her body. I'm not gonna lie, K Michelle look all right. K Michelle look all right. She got a big ass jaw. She could tow a truck with that jaw. But K Michelle is, is is pretty attractive. Um. Now it says, new photos suggest that she used plastic plastic surgery to adjust her skin color. Also, the pics were released yesterday, and they show K Michelle looking much lighter than ever before. Let me see. Yeah, right. Oh, let me see. Um, it goes on to say there are different bleaching creams which are available over the counter to treat these dark spots and lighten the skin. These creams work by reducing a pigment called melanin um in the skin. When the skin is exposed to UV or sunlight, more melanin is produced, which tends to discolor the skin and produce these sunspots. Skin lightening products may combine uh, hydroquinones, licorice, licorice, vitamin K, vitamin C, and other bleaching agents, uh, ingredients. There are also a number of surgical procedures that black women can undergo that will allow them to bleach or lighten their skin. One procedure involves a laser that zaps the melanin out of a patient's skin. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Now let me say this. Um, I'm gonna say this though. I gotta I gotta respond to you, Reggie. I, I, I'm going to say this, man, and, I, and I'm going to keep it a buck. This is a straight fact, homie. And like I said, you know I fuck with you, man. You come up on the show, and you drop pure knowledge. But we if, if this is low-key T. This is a pro-truth channel, pro-objective, and pro-good character as well. And I got to keep it a buck with you, Reggie. You be up on this motherfucker debating and beefing with niggas in the chat, Reggie. Let's keep it a buck. <laughs> now I'm not gonna sit here and say you be wrong or da 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 da. You know your shit, but I will say this, Reggie: the way in which you interact with people is real aggressive, my nigga. I that's a fact. You gotta learn how to use that same information, but you gotta figure out how to express it. Cause I had to ask you the same question like four times. You was you you was you was ran about some shit. I just wanted to know: Do you look in a cop's eye? And I, I'm not the only person that feel that way. You super aggressive. I know you coming from a good place, brother, but you super aggressive with your keyboard, fam. <laughs> You know what I'm saying I, it's low key. I'm just trying to offer some constructive criticism. That's all. I don't want no smoke. I just want to look at Caucasian Mitchell or Michelle. I don't have to read the comments. We, they, I don't have to read the comments. Like I said, I'm not the only person that feel you a little aggressive. When you come up on the uh, on the on the on the chat, man. So I'm gonna just leave it at that. All them 16 and 17 question marks after a question. You only gotta put one, man. We can read over here. You only gotta put one question mark after your question. I mean, one time you came up on here. See, I'm a kid, and I I ain't trying to fry you, Reggie. But you be starting, you be starting a. Uh, imaginary debates with 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 nobody <laughs> we was talking about cardi b one day and then you brought up eminem being the goat when nobody on this channel said eminem was the goat so you be you need you i think you need to you know you need to check yourself homie because you be starting debates 
with nobody with yourself. That's not a good look, man. <laughs> <laughs> let me see i'm just saying like i said man just a little constructive criticism you know we all family here you know what i'm saying it's going we gonna make it what what uh what what jada can say what the locks say we gonna make it it's gonna be all right you know we on your team <laughs> Now it says K Michelle's age was reported in her college yearbook as 18 in late uh, 2000, which would put her birth year at 1982. Her age was reported as 31 in 2015 by the Source magazine, which would put her birth year at 1984. What? Nobody know the bitch birthday? Goddamn. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't know. All I know is if these pictures are real, that's a damn shame. Because uh K Michelle, she had beautiful, she she had beautiful skin, man. So I don't I don't know, I don't know what's going on with that. But K, but K Michelle was uh she had she had that nice milk chocolate. You know what I'm saying? No you know what I mean, she don't look like a contestant for a proactive commercial or nothing. No, no crater face, none of that. None of that. You know what I'm saying skin looks silky. Feel me? Oh. Let's see. You know, at the end of the day, like I also say, it, you know, it's respectfully. If y'all feel like low key don't know what the fuck he's talking about, and shit, you entitled to feel that way too. Um, <laughs> God damn. Said this bitch left her weaving for a whole year and then it got infested. What in the world? They said my man Marcus Houston got a got a hair transplant. What is wrong with these people? Oh, he had the shoe polish line up. Oh, shit. Yo, yo. <laughs> Let's see. He said, and this is him after the transplant. Wow. My man went out and he got him a hairline. My man went out and he took a hairline. Do y'all see this? Oh my God. <laughs> he went from the baldy. <laughs> it says Marcus Houston was the laughing stock of the internet a few months back when pics showed him with fake hair drawn in with dye. Yo, this brother looked bad. He got the Sharpie. He got the crisp sharky uh sharpie caesar my man really is this like this 
like this can't be life for this dude. Like he really came out the house with this graffiti on his head. What is this? If the nigga sweat, all of this was for nothing. And then he done fucked around and came back with waves in his hair. <laughs> Yo. Yo, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. This should remind me of when Fetty Wap had short hair one day and then the next day he literally had a weave. This is crazy, man. Wow. Internet's a bitch. They said the internet roasted him so bad he went out and he got a he got a fucking hair transplant. Wow. What the fuck? Black man throws guy off bridge, self-defense or attempted murder. A 21 year old from Daytona Beach, Florida is facing possible attempt murder charges after he was caught on camera throwing a man off the Main Street Bridge. Uh, Derek Gooden, 21, was charged with aggravated battery causing bodily harm, battery and disorderly conduct. According to authorities, he's currently being held without bail at the local jail while prosecutors decide whether to brine attempt murder charges against him. God damn. It says, uh, the police was wearing a body camera and it captured part of the incident on video. Derek is seen tossing a man off the bridge. <laughs> Yo. We gonna have to, we gonna have to, um, we gonna have to leave, y'all. I'm ready to go. Just give me the word. I'm ready to go. It's not clear whether, Okay. Oh, it said uh, whether he was acting in self-defense. Derek's family claimed on social media that he feared for his life and he was defending himself. This is fuck shit. That, this has fuck shit written all over it. Uh, I'm sorry. Now it says, um, let me see. The alleged victim, Anthony Mascaro, 33, Anthony and a friend were walking across the bridge um, around 5 o'clock at night, Sunday, Derek, who was the one on the bridge fishing, ran into Anthony and his friend, and they started arguing over some money that was allegedly owed to Derek. The argument quickly turned into a physical fight during which Derek tossed Anthony over the bridge. That nigga was watching too much power. This nigga, this nigga, this nigga watched too much power, man. <laughs> Yo. Tell me this nigga watch. Tell me this nigga don't watch too much power. Come on, man. Dude thought he was Tommy. Man, people just don't. People just don't give a fuck, man. Let's, let's hit up a palate cleanser and let's get up out of here. Ugh. This London restaurant, y'all know I hit you with these nasty ass food dishes. This London restaurant is dedicated to all things avocado. London's Avo Bar is a restaurant that's all about avocado. Everything on the menu contains the fruit 
in some form from avocado avocado roses to a burger where the bun is an avocado. Fans of the fruit, I didn't even know that shit was a fruit, can get can't get enough. Which dish would you try? Yo, I I fucking hate avocado. These niggas is wildin'. Would y'all eat this shit? Oh, shit look like booger juice. I'm just <laughs> this is like snot sludge. I don't want this shit. Just tell me this shit don't look like booger juice. I don't want no parts of that. <laughs> this person says, wow, I'm trying to. So y'all wouldn't fuck with this? Sexy as fuck says, yuck. Um... Wow is divorcing her husband. Do y'all give a fuck about Jersey Shore? I don't give a fuck about no Jersey Shore, man. Oh, shit. I think I heard about this story. I think I heard about that Justine Damon story. I think that's it, family. I don't see anything else up on here worth reporting, man. It's a lot of boring shit up on here. Let me see. My man said, rapper claims he smashed Cardi B for the culture. God damn. Y'all boy Drake passed out due to a mystery illness. That's y'all boy. Oh, yeah. Let's roast Cardi B before we get up out of here. Let's roast. Oh, that's a perfect. That's a perfect video to get up out of here on. Cardi B spotted out without makeup. People are calling her ugly. I'm sorry. Cardi B is ugly as dog shit without makeup. We about to look at all of these celebrities without makeup on. It's funny as hell. You got you. You have naturally beautiful girls out here. That are putting on makeup and all of this. <laughs> that are putting on all this makeup to look like these entertainers. But in real life, they look better. <laughs> they look better. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. She looks so tired. Tell me Cardi don't look tired. All right, I need to get a how do I get off the screen? I'm sorry, man. Cardi. Y'all can have her. Y'all can have Cardi, man. But I wanted to show y'all. <laughs> she had a baby so because she had a baby that means she allowed to be ugly what that mean 
What that mean? I thought, see, the thing is, I thought, I thought makeup was supposed to enhance a female's beauty. I thought makeup was to enhance a female's beauty. I didn't know makeup was to swindle a nigga. I think she ugly as dog shit. I think, but I'll be honest. I think she's still ugly once she put on makeup too. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Like um, Adele. I love Adele, but she looked fucked up without makeup on. But I just thought personally that. Oh my god. <laughs> And I'm gonna keep it a buck. Probably 95% of the females out here in America or whatever, the 95% of the females out here, they go for that Kim Kardashian look. Don't matter, black, white, Asian, Indian, it don't matter. Kim Kardashian, the way she does her makeup or whatever, whatever you want to call it, she's become like the template. She look like shit. See, low-key need a chick that she don't even need makeup. All she need is a little bit of fucking cocoa butter on her face, whatever. I can't fuck with a chick that look like a whole nother person when they go in the bathroom and come out. You fucking the chick when she got her makeup on, she take the makeup off, you feel like you cheating on her with a whole nother chick. You're like, you, that was you? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He said, why don't, <laughs> why don't you have a boyfriend? <laughs> I mean, why don't you have a girlfriend, sexy? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That's your girl. That's America's top model right there. Wow. These bitches look like crackheads without that concealer. Damn, Tyra got that alien head. Yo, Tyra Banks ugly. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, Tyra Banks is ugly. <laughs> Tyra Banks is ugly. How ironic is that? She's the she's the host of a show called America's Next Top Model. And she walking around looking like oh looking looking like give me 10 feet in the face. Wow. Wow. Right, Mariah Scary. Jesus Christ, man. Hold on here, y'all girl. Let me see, man. Everybody knew Mila Kunis. She looked awful. I just feel like a lot of females are using makeup. It it just using their powers for evil. They using they using their powers for evil. Oh my God! This your girl? This your girl, Mama Candy? Is that your girl? That's Mama Candy, girl. Come on, y'all laughing? Ain't nothing funny about this. 
We all got to go to sleep after looking at these ugly motherfuckers. Good Lord. Now, who, be honest, who would want to lay down next to that, man? Take the money, take the fame, take all that away. Who would want to lay down next to that? Motherfuckers be looking rough. <laughs> he said me. Hell no. Hell no. It's something in me. I can't. I can't. I cannot take down an ugly chick. I can't do it. It's like something in me. It's like, you know what I mean? Damn, Oprah. <laughs> Damn, Oprah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Hey, hey, how I hey. said y'all was trying to uh, hook me up with a cougar, and and I was thinking about Beyonce. I feel like Beyonce is probably the only one, but it's her melanin. See, that's the thing. Melanin goes a long way. A lot of these white chicks, I'm gonna keep it a buck. A lot of these white chicks and non-melanated people, they look like ghosts without makeup on. Um, so I feel like Beyonce's melanin does help her look. You know, um, pretty. Even though she doesn't have, you know, no cake on her face. I don't know how dudes find Rihanna attractive, man. She look like a big-headed little boy. I'm sorry, <laughs> niggas love niggas will die over some Rihanna. Rihanna look like a a, a big-headed. Little boy ant. Ugh. <laughs> Don't you look like a little boy? Come on, man. So that's all I'm saying. I just feel like a lot of females use their... Like, come on, look at this. This is the perfect example. Look at Kylie Jenner. Every... All the young girls, you know what I'm saying? A lot of old chicks want to be Kylie. She's making millions of dollars. <laughs> Man, you got to respect the hustle. A lot of these people, a lot of these celebrities that are selling makeup and cosmetics, they're busted in the face. If you take their makeup off, and their concealer, and you take off the skunk fur they put on their eyes, respectfully, you left with the, you left with this. But you gotta respect their hustle because they like, damn, I'm ugly, but I'm a I'm gonna make a bag off of this. So you gotta respect the hustle. <laughs> she look like a crackhead. This chick on the left don't look like this chick on the right at all. This chick on the right might be a bad bitch. The chick on the left, that's a proactive commercial at 2 o'clock in the morning. He said, not even my dog would sleep with that. God damn. I wouldn't let my dog piss on her. He said, Angelina Jolie. I'm not even going to lie. Angelina Jolie is in my top five. But I heard she crazy as dog shit, though. I think Lady Gaga might be the ugliest woman on the planet. She might be.
Oh yeah. J Lo looked pretty good though. I don't know what it is with J Lo, but she just will not go away. But J Lo looks pretty good. That's the thing about Spanish chicks. Spanish chicks always look good. We gonna have to, sh we gonna have to have a show with all the ladies sending pictures of what they look like with makeup and then without makeup, so I can clown y'all. That's gonna be one of the next couple of shows. Ladies gonna have to send in that picture of uh, before they go into the bathroom and after they come out the bathroom. And we're going to do a rating and everything. We're going to have a contest. We, we might even have a prize. Whoever, whoever <laughs> is the most attractive human being, whoever looked the same, whoever looked the closest to the same without makeup on one. <laughs> Gonna be a grand prize and everything. So yeah, that's that's the video, family. We've been up in here, we've been up on here for long enough. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. We covered a lot of fuck shit articles tonight. Oh Lord Jesus! Ew! What in the world? What is that? I'm sorry. Who is this again? Naomi Campbell, she looked good in this picture, but God damn. Shit, Alien vs. Predator, that's all I can think of. God damn. So y'all, you know, y'all take y'all, I need, I need before and after pics of what you look like, before, you know, before you go in the bathroom. How your face look, and then after you come out the bathroom, you know what the world see. And we're gonna have we're gonna do a contest. Whoever looked the closest in that transformation, we're gonna have a grand prize. I don't know what the prize is gonna be. Might be a <laughs> it might be a, a a voucher for White Castle, it might be a gift card. To Sephora, who know? But on low key T, we like to switch it up and do something different. So with that family, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Hit that like, hit that dislike button. Either way, it's all love. If you want to talk about raggedy? God damn. my baby right here and with that I do want to say triple salute to the kings and queens that was riding tonight triple salute to sexy as fuck on the check in triple salute to mama candy all y'all gonna be late for work tomorrow shout out Reginald Williams on the check in peace king who else was up in here I think Virgo was up in here. Shout out to the young king Virgo. Everybody subscribe to him. And also, triple salute to Bad and Boozy. Everybody go subscribe to her. She be popping hella shit. <laughs> it's a love fest going on in the chat. I fucks with it. So I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. We're going to see what's going on. For everybody on the replay, hop up in the comments. Let me know how you feel about the topics we covered tonight. From Bill Cosby to the, the nigga letting his son drown in the tub because he wanted to play uh, Grand Theft Auto or 2K, whatever he was playing. To all the crazy-ass stories we covered tonight. And remember, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. 
<laughs> Mama Candy says it's not happening. I lost. <laughs> it's low key. <laughs> 